you? I'm fine. But you know, it seems as though we only ever ask each other so that we can lie. Last week I died 40 times when I realized how long I've been chained and shackled to these emotions that were never really even mine. 11 yesterday, eight tears for lunch when I realized it is our pain that is what connects us. You know, we've all been through the same sort of shit. What with my theory that our pain is relative. What disconnects us is our inability to forgive the people in situations that cause us that pain. It creates anger. And it's taken me a while to admit that I grew up in a bit of a fucking angry place. And I used to get dudes on the tram all the time like, what the fuck are you looking at? And I wish more than anything I knew then what I know now, I'd be able to say to that man that I'm looking at a human, just like me. Someone who when cut will bleed. Someone whose father wasn't there when they needed him to be, when they needed the most best friends that pah, turned to ghosts. I see a bully that's also been a victim of their own self-criticism. Someone struggling so hard to be strong that they've confused forgiveness for weakness. But that's okay, brother, because we're all just fucking humans. I see depression, but I also see self-resurrection. I see denial of the truth as a means of self-preservation. I see thoughts of suicide, yet still some reservations. I see volatility, yet in reality, docility. Forgiving into a system of thinking that creates division and a prison of the mind that so many of us exist in. One filled with anger at our own inability to forgive. And maybe you've been burned so bad that you can't see that. Every single one of us is like a boat floating on a river. And every word spoken is like a stone drop that creates ripples. On and on that trickles and there's no telling how many people those words affect until we see how deep that river runs. When you dropped yours, you looked in a mind, but you only saw your own reflection. Created that aggression at the first sign of connection. And maybe I'm so blinded by my cuts and scars that I can't see that you could be the person I need to teach me how to love a seed the same way that I love a tree. And that every single day, despite what we think, we have the opportunity to break through the chain links that tie us to that word I and realize that we are looking at humans just like us. And maybe then we can begin to forgive the people that broke our trust and learn to love again. But until that day, my friend, just know that I am looking at a human just like me. Thank you.